Bees and wasps. Today's video is all about bees and wasps. Intrigued? You can download this lesson plan from our website, learnbright.org, and follow along as we go. Let's get started. What are bees and wasps? Even for the experts, hmm. it is hard to tell the difference between a bee and a wasp. But there are a few ways you can try to differentiate between them. First, you can look at their appearance. Bees have fuller bodies, flat legs, and are hairy, making them appear fuzzy. Their fuzzy body helps them collect, disseminate, or spread pollen widely. Wasps have slimmer bodies, narrow legs, and smooth, shiny bodies. Bees make their nests from wax, while wasp nests are made from paper-like materials, such as chewed wood. Honeybees are perennial insects, which means they can last very long. The nest can remain active for many years if the colony is healthy. Bumblebees and wasps only live in their nests for one year. This is because they have annual life cycles. Both bees and wasps are social creatures and live in colonies. What do bees and wasps eat? Bees and wasps also differ in what they choose to eat. Bees consume plant pollen and nectar from flowering plants. Nectar is a sweet fluid produced by flowers and gathered by worker bees. The nectar is for energy, and the pollen provides protein and other nutrients. To make one teaspoon of pollen, a bee has to work eight hours a day for a whole month. Talk about being as busy as a bee! Wasps are natural predators that feed arthropods and insects to their young. They are aggressive hunters. Wasps will leave their nest to look for food specifically. But during the late summer and fall, they focus on collecting sweets. However, this is not their primary food source, which is why you will see them most often during your outdoor activities at this time, especially if you have candy or sodas. Other interesting facts. It is hard not to swap at a wasp and flying around you. Huh. While it seems like a great way to make them disappear, you should avoid it at all costs. That's because when wasps die, their body releases a pheromone. A pheromone is a chemical substance that the body makes, and when released into the environment, it affects the behavior of others of its species. For example, when a wasp dies and releases its pheromone, it alerts other wasps in the area that a comrade has fallen, making them more aggressive. Uh -oh. The other wasps will begin to swarm to avenge the death of their friend. Wasps and bees both sting to defend themselves and their colony. A honeybee has a barbed stinger. The shape causes the stinger to stay in the skin. So once it stings and flies away, the stinger is torn from the bee's abdomen. The bee eventually dies, and the stinger remains in your skin. Wasps and bumblebees are different because they can pull out their stinger, which means they can sting more than once without injuring themselves. People react differently to bee and wasp stings. There can be health risks with getting stung, so it is essential to know the type of insect that did the stinging. That way, you or another person can get the proper treatment if a doctor is needed. Why are bees and wasps important to the environment? Both bees and wasps are extremely valuable to the environment because they pollinate food crops. Pollination occurs when insects, like bees and other pollinators, travel from one plant to the next, fertilizing the plant. For example, when a bee visits a flower, the fuzzy hairs on the bee attract its pollen. Then, the bee travels to its next destination and lands on another flower. When it lands, pollen is distributed or given out and cross-pollinates plants. 
This process makes fruits, vegetables, and seeds for us to eat. Wasps help keep the arthropod population under control. Without wasps, we would have too many flies, caterpillars, and spiders. In addition, wasps are a free and eco-friendly way to control pests. In a world without wasps, humans would have to use even more pesticides, which would have terrible effects on our land. And wasps are also pollinators. They just aren't as great as bees are at it. Unfortunately, bee populations continue to decline because of pesticides and climate change. We can change that by avoiding chemical sprays and planting bee-friendly flora. Learning about bees and wasps is pretty interesting, right? Let's do a quick review to see what you remember. How do the hairs on bees help them pollinate flowers and crops? The fuzzy hairs on the bee attract its pollen. So when the bee travels to its next destination and lands on another flower, the pollen is distributed and it cross-pollinates the plants. Choose the word the author would say best describes the bee. A. Defenseless. B. Hardworking. C. Loner. D. Endangered. E. Meek. You got it. B. Hardworking. True or false? Bees and wasps are not important to the environment. False. Without bees and wasps, we would have too many flies, caterpillars, and spiders roaming around. And no one wants that. Well done, winged warriors. If you enjoyed reading along with us today, check out learnbright.org for even more lesson plans. Hope you had fun learning with us visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.